This is my 5 kilowatt Solax inverter. It has been working since 2019 and it works very well. I have this Wi-Fi module here which I can see the real-time statistics of my solar generation but the problem is this doesn't tell me my current grid usage. So if you go over to my switchboard here we have the main switch grid supply and the main switch inverter supply. So what I have gotten in here is a Shelly EM and this is an energy meter that works via Wi-Fi and I clamped it over here and over here and that enables me to track the power that I'm using in the house and the feed into the grid from the solar and Shelly EM does all that automatically for me. Highly recommend it. Okay this is the Shelly app and just before I continue, make sure you get your Shelly EM device fitted by a licensed electrician. Working with AC is very dangerous. The Shelly EM device only comes with one 50 amp clamp, so I bought an additional 120 amp clamp to go over my main switch, and the 50 amp switch goes over my solar inverter breaker. So it will come up as two devices, even though it's just one Shelly EM device. Each clamp represents a device. The first one is on over my main breaker, and I've named this net grid usage because I do have net metering or feed-in tariffs, what we call in Australia. So this displays a negative value when you're feeding into the grid. So we can't call this household usage because it's actually bi-directional. Just look at some settings here. Uh, I've turned off eco mode because I want it to be really fast performing when I use it and it's in a switchboard with metal around it and it doesn't get much Wi-Fi signal so I want the maximum uh, strength. I set the transformer type to 120 amps. Everything else is pretty much default. Even got the geolocation on to detect where I am and yeah no notifications here as of yet. I think this is more applicable to like switches and stuff. This is the charts slash consumption page. I've only had it for just under 24 hours. So there's still a good bit of data here to see. And you can even see the uh, figures of how much it's costing you. You enter that in to the, into another page, which I'll show you <clears throat> later on. No activity logs. Um, this timer page refers to the contractor control on the Shelly EM device, which I don't use. So it's got one, one switch or one relay which you can use. Um, I don't have use for that yet, so I'm not using that. And that and the schedule also applies to that contractor control as well. Actions. So here we can set over and under watts or kilowatts, let's double check, um, over power, uh, that might be watts actually. So if I put a thousand watts here, I can get the Shelly Cloud to uh, send a request to a webhook when it does happen, which we can trigger other integrations later on. Don't know what I'd use that for yet, but it's good to have because I am techie. And this is the Wi-Fi setup. So actually I skipped a lot of this because I already had it installed, but when you do first install your Shelly, you go to Safari or a web browser um, and you go to 192.168.33.1 and that's the local default IP address of the Shelly. You connect to its own local Wi-Fi network and then you set the Wi-Fi configuration there so then it's finally joined to your network and you add this as a device over here and you scan your network and then you can pick it up. So where were we? We were, and you can double check your Wi-Fi settings here. So once it's attached to Wi-Fi, um, you can change it within the, within the app, which is good. All right, um, the other good great thing is that you can set up an additional Wi-Fi access point in case the first one dies. So it's got a bit of redundancy there. 
access points. Um, I think that's if you want to turn on Shelly's built-in Wi-Fi to connect to it manually. That's only for when you first set up. Wi-Fi AP roaming. I'm not too sure what this is, but I think it's another additional access point you can connect to if it falls below a certain um, RSSI signal strength value. Restrict login. That is where you can lock down the local web server of the Shelly device. I didn't bother with this. I mean, it's only just um, data. If anyone's connected to my network and they know my IP address of my Shelly, then they can go into it and see it. And cloud. Obviously, you want to have this connected to the cloud. Some more safety features for the contractor control. And here we have settings. I'm signed up to the premium trial at the moment, which gives me 90 days free, which is quite generous. So I've turned on AR model, so it's got to train for 240 hours before it can give me some, some interesting insights. Offline notifications, well, I might as well turn that on. That might be actually good. It can tell you when there's a blackout. If you have a battery system, that might be an issue. Talk about that later down the track. Uh, device card, um, yeah, so much to, to change here. I just wanted a small card that just displayed the current usage. You can add other um, parameters in the card. Appliance type here is very important because in the energy usage section, um, this will help you determine what is grid power and what is solar power, etc. So I set this to grid source, as you can see. If this was another Shelly device or a switch or something, you could set it to any of these other appliance types. Energy calculation, no, we want to include all this stuff. Okay, and you can share this device with someone else so they can remotely use it. All right, so the settings are pretty much the same for solar output, except for um, the appliance type, which is generate energy. Now, I named it solar output because it's actually not the actual solar I'm generating from the inverter. It's the solar that's being fed into my house. So a bit of a slight difference there. Okay, so that's the dashboard and I've had to add these manually once you've in installed these devices. Home, that's where you can create rooms. I've only got this device at the moment, so I just named it home. And there they are in there. This third button, which is real-time, real-time energy, it was smart enough to recognize and calculate the difference of my net usage and my solar output. So this value here, 2.69 kilowatts, that's actually what I'm using in the house. And it's quite high at the moment because I'm running the dishwasher and possibly washing machine. Okay. So if we look here, solar output 3.47 kilowatts, net grid usage 785 watts. So I'm feeding 785 watts into the grid. So my real time usage is 2.69 kilowatts. We have a nice history tab there. I haven't had too much time to have a look and understand. I need more some more data. Monthly reports, nothing there yet. Electricity tariff. So this is where you set your fees or how much it costs for your electricity depending on your provider. Now I went really, really geeky out on this and I push my tariff data to this um, API URL. And I push to that URL every five minutes, depending on the time of day and what the fee is. But you can do it manually yourself by clicking default there and setting up the times for off-peak, off, uh, 
peak and shoulder and all that stuff. But I'm doing it uh, programmatically. PV setup. This is an alpha mode. Um, I don't really quite understand backup and balcony, but I was, from my research, parallel is the way to go. And I think most people are like this in Australia. You've got a solar system that's um, powering the home and feeding the excess into the grid. And how cool is that? So 2.69 kilowatts is what I'm using actually in the home. I'm generating 3.47 kilowatts of power. So I'm being able to power my house and the excess is going to the grid. How awesome is that? And we can see the distribution of power in the last 24 hours. So a big chunk of it is grid. And a decent chunk is also um, solar. And I'm exporting that much. And then there's all these heaps of these settings and stuff which I won't bore you with. But yeah, that's a quick introduction to the Shelly EM. Hope you enjoyed it. If you, if you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll leave links to the Shelly EM device and other related things in the description if you'd like to buy one. Thank you and see you in the next video.